Christians like to boast that their religion is most aligned with science, and that other religions, including Hinduism, are full of superstitions. Sadly, that is not the case. Many, if not most Christians, are told by their pastors to discard what science teaches about the formation of this planet, how the sun, moon, and stars were formed, how the creatures of this planet came to be. They are told to discard all of this if it goes against the Bible. In other words, the Bible is the sole authority on everything, including science. So what do the Christians believe about how this planet was formed? It comes from the first chapter of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now this earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. The second day saw the creation of the different bodies of water. The third day saw the creation of the plants and the trees. The, the fourth day saw the creation of day, night, the sun, the moon, the stars. The fifth day saw the creation of all the different animals that inhabit this planet. And finally, on the sixth day, this God, Yahweh, created man, human beings, in his image, out of dirt. Yes, that's what they actually believe. On the seventh day, the Lord rested, is what Genesis says. And that is why Christians consider Sunday the holiest day of the week for them. All in all, Christians claim that the earth is 6,000 years old. How did they get this number, you might ask, when we know that carbon dating has proved the earth is much older than 6,000 years old? Many Christians will point to this verse in Psalms chapter 90, verse 4. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. This, of course, clashes with the view that science holds, that the Earth is billions of years old, and it's Charles Darwin's theory of evolution that explains how the creatures of this Earth came to be, and that includes human beings. And this is what they teach their children in Christian schools, or even in secular public schools, where a majority of these fundamentalist Christians hold the majority. I'm talking about the United States, of course, although in India they might teach their, this nonsense in their school too, we don't know. <clears throat> when Christians are presented with evidence that dinosaurs existed, what they'll say is their dinosaur fossils were planted by Satan, or they will argue that dinosaurs and human beings coexisted when science has showed that human beings were not around during the time of the dinosaurs. In fact, these Christians even have a museum dedicated to this false teaching of humans and dinosaurs coexisting. Thankfully, the Christians have not been able to censor science that goes against the Bible, at least not completely. They were never able to censor and defeat Copernicus or Galileo, or Charles Darwin, or Carl Sagan, who, by the way, had this to say. The, hum the Hindu religion is the only one of the world's great faiths dedicated to the idea that the cosmos itself undergoes an immense, indeed an infinite number of deaths and rebirths. It is the only religion in which the time scales correspond to those of modern scientific cosmology. Its cycles run from our ordinary day and night to a day and night of Brahma, 8.64 billion years long, longer than the age of the Earth, and about half the time since the Big Bang. 